Alrighty guys, got another video here for you. In my previous video, I showed you how to create a dual boot with um, Windows 10 and um, Peppermint Linux, and that could be any type of Linux as well. Now in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can remove Linux from our dual boot and still keep our Windows 10 operating system intact without um, losing all our data. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go about doing that. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do once you know how, but I do know a lot of people have had issues removing Linux and they end up trying to reboot and they end up with that grub screen and they can't uh, boot back into Windows 10. So let me show you how easy it is to do um, in a couple of simple steps. So first off, what we're gonna do here is right click on the start button on Windows 10. So make sure you booted to Windows 10 and you want to go to disk management. Once you're inside disk management here, what you want to do is look for your uh, Linux uh, partition, okay? So on your Linux partition, let me just remove uh, this um, one here. That is my USB flash drive. So from here, what we're looking for is our primary partition here for um, Linux. And we also have um, this one here. So you can see here, these are our Linux operating systems. So what I'm gonna do is delete this uh, from the volume here. So I'm just gonna delete this. And that should free up 13.47 gigabytes. That's now done. And I'm also gonna do this one here by right clicking on it and delete that volume also. And there we go. Now you just choose your Linux uh, install, okay? Now we're gonna leave this intact and the system reserve. This is Windows, okay? You might, you're not gonna to touch any of these ones. We're gonna leave these alone. So now we've got free space available to us, right? It's just, let me just quickly uh, delete this whole partition here. There we go. So we've now deleted that and we've now got our unallocated uh, space here. We can now recapture this into here by extending our volume by right clicking on your C drive and extend your volume. And you can just leave the as is and just go next, next, and that will recapture all that space, okay? But that still doesn't get us out of the woods. We still got an issue with our boot up and uh, it will still have that grub menu. So to get rid of that, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you a nice and easy way of doing it rather than doing it in command prompt. If you're not very familiar with command prompt, this is a much easier way to do it and it's free and easy to do. So let me just get this IOMI partition assistant here. And we could have used this to do the other method as well if you we wanted to. I just wanted to show you the easier way of doing this. So let's just in install this and I'll leave the link for this in the video description. I'm gonna run the program and here we have our program. So what we wanna do is go to our disk, which is our C drive and our disk, our disk one for our windows. And on here, you can now right click on this and you'll see rebuild MBR. And you can use any of these free programs that will do this, okay? Now, if you don't want to do this, you can do it in command prompt. You can also do it down here also. As you can see, you don't have to right click. It's down here on the left hand side. Just click on this as well. And uh, you can see now we have a, a little menu here. We've got XP 2000, 2003. We know that's not what, the, what we're using. Windows Vista and 2008, we're not using that either. We're using this one here, which is Windows 7, 8, 10, 2011, 2012, okay? So we're just gonna click OK here. We need to apply our changes. Click Proceed, click Yes, start to do that, and it will automatically rewrite our master boot record for us. We can now close this program off, and then when we reboot our system, we should have our Windows 10 back up and running. And there you go, the grub menu has now been removed and we have now got our Windows 10 the way it was when we first started our dual boot. And there we are, we're back up and running. Uh, Linux has been removed safely and we've got our Windows 10 system with our C drive and Linux is completely gone and that's how you can remove Linux from a dual boot.
Anyway, hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also, what's really important, is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos.